Hi friends, it's Maddie here back at it again with another reaction video and today we will be watching a beginner's guide to Australian football because I've been on this Australian football journey and I'm interested in knowing what it's all about. This is a special request from Earl. Thank you so much for this request. Let's get into it, but before we do, you already know what to do. Make sure you've liked this video and you've subscribed so the YouTube algorithm gods can bless us. All right, let's go. It's unlike any other game in the world. Buddy Franklin under the scene. Yes, it Franklin. is. This is Buddy Franklin! Otherwise not That's why I was so confused. By wow, there are girls that play too? There are girls that play too? Wow. It's unlike any other game in the world. Buddy Franklin under the scene. Franklin, this is Buddy Franklin! Otherwise known as Aussie Rules, AFL or footy, Australian football is chock-a-block full of non-stop action, athleticism, hard hits, floor, and uh, heart-stopping moments. Seed from the boundary. Needs to be in This is Australia's game. Not even kidding. The professional men's league, the AFL, is the most attended domestic sports league in the world per capita. It's made wow. up of 18 teams across the country. The AFLW is the women's competition, formed in 2017 and growing rapidly ever since. Nice. Righto, let's talk some basics. On game day, two teams play each other on a field shaped like an oval. A starting lineup consists of defenders, midfielders, and forwards. Okay. You gotta be fit to play this sport. Players can move kind of anywhere like on the ground and perform any role during the game. Games are split into four quarters, with time added for stoppages in play. Okay. And the game starts with players from both teams fighting for possession of the ball. We are away and Grundy out the back was able to get it to Pendlebury. The aim is to move the ball down the field and score. This is done in one of three ways. You can't throw the ball, but you can use your fist to punch the ball out of your hands. That's a huh? handball. You can run with the ball, but don't forget to bounce it every 15 metres. Wait, what? What? <laughs> okay, so you we can't throw it. We have to punch it like a kind of like a like a bad volleyball hit. We have to punch it. Okay. And then every 15 meters we have to remember to just bounce it on the ground. Oh my gosh, this is complicated. Push the ball out of your hands. That's a handball. You can run with the ball, but don't forget to bounce it every 15 metres. Penny! Oh, he's in a good spot! Penny with a bounce! Here's the moment! Penny with a second bounce! What? And finally, you can kick the ball. Uh, no. Yeah, that's better. Trelaw kicks it beautifully. Look at that ball. Players try to catch the ball after it's been kicked at least 15 metres. This is called a mark. Fun fact, you can use your opponent as a stepladder and take what's called a specky. Wait, that's legal? That's crazy. After a mark, you can choose to play on. What? These are the rule these are the rules? This looks pretty exciting to watch. I'm not going to lie, but it does seem pretty dangerous. Wait, that's legal? That's crazy. That's crazy. After a mark, you can choose to play on. Or you can stop and take an unobstructed kick. To score, the idea is to kick the ball. So, okay, so instead of an out-of-bounds kick, they could just stop and be like, hey, I'm going to kick, and then everybody's, everybody respects it, and they're just like, oh, okay, that's fine. Between the two large upright posts. There's the target. And that's right on the Ooh, That's a goal. That's six points. By the way, you can also kick goals like this. This. Or even this. No way! Okay, so so the goal is in between the four posts? It's right in the middle? Or does each goal equal a different number point system? Well, I'm kind of confused, guys. <laughs> That's that's my best Australian accent. Martin, can he kick a fourth? Oh, he has! He 
at the post or put it between the big posts and the outer lower post. Ah, uh, how did he miss that? Oh, wait a minute. Can he kick okay. it forth? Oh, he has! Hit the post or put it between the big posts and the outer lower post. Ah, uh, how did he miss that? That's worth one point. We call that a behind. Okay, they got to After it. After a goal is scored, the ball goes back to the centre square and the action starts again. How do you get the ball back from your opponents? You can spoil, bump, smother, and tackle. Is it true they don't wear pads? And bang! Crazy. Once tackled, your Crazy. opponent must correctly dispose of the ball. Yeah, nah, not like that. If they don't and have had prior opportunity to do so. Ooh. On the footy! This is called holding the ball, and you get a free kick. Interesting. That's really interesting because it looks like like they are making extreme impacts. But one thing that is kind of cool is the is the sort of respect and camaraderie that comes comes about respecting the rules of the game. So it's like, OK, someone someone does like a quick, fast impact. But it looks like after that initial impact, then people aren't all piling up on each other like American football, it's kind of seen as like, okay, well, whoever gets to it, all right, now it's yours, we'll back off. That's interesting because I feel like that might result in fewer injuries. I don't know. I'd like to hear the stats on how many people are seriously injured from this sport versus American football. When the f if they don't and have had prior opportunity to do so, on the footy! This is called holding the ball, and you get a free kick. When the final siren sounds, the team with the most points wins. Come on! What an upset! A final scoreline can look confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. Start with goals, the goals. Behinds. These are worth six, okay. remember? Add your behinds, and that's your total score. Oh, oh, so we aren't adding the points up just as we go. We just... We just do it all separately. I guess that would make sense to keep track of everything easier, though. That makes sense. That's clever. A final scoreline can look confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. Start with the goals. These are worth six, remember? Add your behinds, and that's your total score. Before we go, let's take a quick look at how the professional seasons work. In the women's competition, the top teams play off in a knockout final series culminating in a grand final played at the highest ranking team's home ground. Oh, so in the men's league, teams advantage. fight it out for 22 home and away games. And after that, the top eight teams make the finals. One by one, teams get knocked out until two remain, ready to face off in the grand final. It's the decider for the biggest prize in footy, the Premiership Cup, played at the MCG in front of, hold up, this can't be right, 100,000 fans Beauty. That's a huge nice crowd. And that's pretty much it. Your quick guide to Aussie rules football. So it looks this cool. is us. What do you reckon? Because personally, we think it's the best live game going round. But don't take our word for it. Grab your scarf and come see for yourself. Wow. You're gonna love it. That looks like so much fun. I'm going to have to figure out how I can watch this and when it's on. It's probably on at obscene times during my time zone. Um, but, you know, I'll find a way because that's pretty cool and I'm excited to check that out. Who's everyone's favorite team? Which team should I be rooting for? And yes, I can be a fair weather friend. So tell me, tell me your favorite teams in the comments and who I should root for and which games I should watch first. I look forward to doing this, guys. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed, and you've hit that notification bell so that you will be alerted next time I drop a surprise video. But until next time, bye!